Hello. Hope you are doing well and ready for a 5-minute analytics journey. Please stay with us on this short learning session and feel free to ask any questions in the comment section. Great. Let me walk you through GPT version 4, OpenAI's most advanced system. GPT-4 is a transformer-based model which can accept image and text inputs and produce text outputs. Over a range of domains including documents with text and photographs, diagrams, or screenshots, GPT-4 exhibits similar capabilities as it does on text-only inputs. Let's have a look at some interesting examples of GPT version 4 when using visual input. In this example, user asked this question. What is funny about this image? Describe it panel by panel. In response to this question, GPT-4 was able to answer which is really interesting. This is the answer of GPT-4. The image shows a package for a lightning cable adapter with three panels. Panel 1, a smartphone with a VGA connector, a large, blue, 15-pin connector typically used for computer monitors, plugged into its charging port. Panel 2, the package for the lightning cable adapter with a picture of a VGA connector on it. Panel 3, a close-up of the VGA connector with a small lightning connector, used for charging iPhones and other Apple devices, at the end. The humor in this image comes from the absurdity of plugging a large, outdated VGA connector into a small, modern smartphone charging port. In the technical report which has been recently released by OpenAI, it's been mentioned that they plan to release more information about GPT-4's visual capabilities in follow-up work. We will illustrate these examples when released. OpenAI developer team tested GPT-4 on a diverse set of benchmarks, including simulating exams that were originally designed for humans. They did no specific training for these exams. A minority of the problems in the exams were seen by the model during training. For each exam, they run a variant with these questions removed and report the lower score of the two. They believe the results to be representative. Let's have a look at the results of the GPT-4 performance on academic and professional exams. This figure shows GPT performance on academic and professional exams. In each case, they simulated the conditions and scoring of the real exam. Exams are ordered from low to high based on GPT-3.5 performance. GPT-4 outperforms GPT-3.5 on most exams tested. To be conservative, they reported the lower end of the range of percentiles, but this creates some artifacts on the AP exams which have very wide scoring bins. For example, although GPT-4 attains the highest possible score on AP Biology, 5 out of 5, this is only shown in the plot as 85th percentile because 15% of test takers achieve that score. Amazingly, GPT-4 demonstrates human-level performance on the majority of these professional and academic exams. Notably, it passes a simulated version of the Uniform Bar Examination with a score in the top 10% of test takers. Let's summarize what we have learned here. GPT-4 is characterized as a large multimodal model with human-level performance on certain difficult professional and academic benchmarks. It outperforms existing large language models on a collection of natural language processing tasks and exceeds the vast majority of reported state-of-the-art systems, which often include task-specific fine-tuning. It also can accept image alongside text inputs and produce text outputs. This version of GPT includes improved capabilities, whilst usually measured in English, can be demonstrated in many different languages. Ultimately, GPT-4 represents a significant step towards broadly useful and safely deployed AI systems. Despite its capabilities, GPT-4 has similar limitations as earlier GPT models. Most importantly, it still is not fully reliable, it hallucinates facts and makes reasoning errors. 
GPT-4 is available on ChatGPT Plus and as an API for developers to build applications and services. As we come to the end of this 5-minute analytics session, I hope you found this video informative. If you have any suggestions for future content, let me know in the comments. By subscribing to 5-Minute Analytics channel, you'll be the first to know when we upload new videos. So if you found this one helpful, please consider hitting the subscribe button and giving it a like. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.